afternoon, Prime afternoon. Minister. Um, having promised the public so many times we would leave on time, are you embarrassed to be asking for another delay? Well, first of all, obviously I'm here with fellow leaders to talk about the request I've put in for a short extension to Article 50. And I know many people will be frustrated that the summit is taking place at all, uh, because the UK should have left the EU by now, and I greatly regret the fact that Parliament has not been able to pass a deal that would enable us to leave in a smooth and orderly way. But I and the government continue to work to find a way forward. We've been talking with the opposition. Those have been serious, constructive talks. They will continue tomorrow. The purpose of this summit is to agree an extension which gives us more time to agree a deal to enable us to leave the EU in that smooth and orderly way. And what matters, I think, is that uh, I've asked for an extension to 30th of June, but what is important is that any extension enables us to leave at the point at which we ratify the withdrawal agreement so we could leave on the 22nd of May and start to build our brighter future. What will you do if the EU says it, there can be an extension but it must be longer because you have said as Prime Minister you could not countenance staying in beyond the end of June. Well I've been clear that the UK's request is for the, uh, an extension to the 30th of June. Uh, I have been working to make sure that we can leave the European Union. Indeed we could have left the European Union by now but Parliament didn't pass the uh, withdrawal agreement. So we need that extra time to work to ensure that we can get a deal through Parliament that enables us to leave in a smooth and orderly way. That's in everybody's interest. I think what matters is that we are able to leave the European Union at the point at which we ratify that withdrawal agreement. That would enable us to leave by the 22nd of May. But, Prime Minister, the decision on the length of the delay is not in your hands. You've said, as Prime Minister, you could not countenance a delay beyond June the 30th. So I ask you again, what will you do if the EU insists on a longer delay? I'm working to ensure that we can leave the European Union uh, within the timescale that the government wants to see. I want us to, have, uh, to be able to leave the European Union in a smooth and orderly way as soon as as possible, and that's what I'm going to be working for. Thank you.